The oscillator is a wave generator. You can actually see the wave right here. You can control the shape of it going from sine to square to sawtooth, and you can control the frequency as well as the amplitude. Right now, it's in low frequency mode. That means you can't hear it, it's just being used as a control signal. If you actually want to hear it, I'm going to turn it down so it doesn't hurt your ears, I'm going to switch it to high frequency, where the wave is going so fast it can actually be heard. And this is how all sound waves work. And when you're hearing it, the frequency actually ties to the pitch, right? So when you turn it down, it's low. And when you turn it up, it's high. And the amplitude is the loudness of the signal. So, and also the shape changes how it's perceived as well. And while that might be interesting by itself, uh, the real exciting part of using an oscillator is when you start controlling the amplitude uh, and the frequency procedurally. And we can do that with another oscillator. So I'm going to copy this and turn this one to low frequency. We can take the output from this low frequency oscillator and plug it in to control, say, the frequency of this oscillator. So here I go up and down based on this, and if I change the shape, now it's a sawtooth. So it's matching that. And I don't have to control the frequency, I can control the amplitude too, right? So I can switch this to the amplitude. You might perceive it better if it's that sine wave again, and I'll slow it down. And you can see how that is now being controlled by that. And you don't have to limit yourself to just this, you can even start changing them together more. You could copy this and use this one to control this one. So I'll slow that one down. And now this wave is controlling this one, which is controlling this one. 